which, if any, of the following six beliefs would make one a non-Christian? Welcome to a conversation I had on Facebook with a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And this is People of the Free Gift, where we ground believers in their identity in Christ and equip them to reach those caught in religion. So if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any future content related to cults and how to share the gospel with them. So what are those six criteria, those six questions that he posted? People must contribute to their salvation. That's number one. Number two, Jesus was created by God. Number three, God knows what is going to happen, but doesn't decide what that it will happen that way. Number four, the Holy Ghost is a force, not a personal being. Number five, God accepts the worship of people of all religions, including Islam, Judaism, and Christianity. Number six, a person has the ability to turn to God of their own free choice. And so I want to know, just hearing those, which, how would you answer that question? Put it in the comments down below. Which of those six criteria would you consider criteria that would make somebody not be able to be considered a Christian? All right. Now that you got your votes locked in, let's get into my answer. My answer was number one and number two. And just to remind you what those were, number one, People must contribute to their salvation. And number two, Jesus was created by God. And so I, I if you want to know more, I talk about that question, what is a Christian in my book, Sharing Jesus with the Colts, available on Amazon or Kindle. And also you can get a copy for being a patron on my Patreon page. Check that out in the link down below. And so um, I answered one and two, care to discuss further. And the response was sure, let's discuss it. So I put it on here so that I can give him my answer. So what if the person just didn't understand the scriptures yet and was still growing in their faith? Would a belief that people must contribute to their salvation and to Jesus was created by God disqualify them from being Christian or from being saved? And my answer is, Absolutely it would. And the reason why is because the two things that we're discussing right now are part of the gospel. Okay, the gospel is the good news. The good news is that Jesus died for your sins and he rose again from the dead on the third day day. And some qualifiers to that, Jesus says, unless you believe that I am, you will die in your sins. And John uh, writes in his epistle that unless you believe that Jesus has come in the flesh, then you are, that that is the spirit of Antichrist. You are not one of his, okay? If you do not have the Holy Spirit, Paul says that you are none of his, okay? If you, the Old Testament makes it clear that you must worship the one God. There is one God. There is no other besides him. And that we are saved by grace alone, through faith alone, not by works, lest any man should boast. And Paul says, if any man preaches another gospel besides this, even an angel from heaven, then let him be accursed, anathema, cut off. And so that is the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus died as a substitutionary death for our sins, meaning that as Paul says, he who knew no sin became sin so that we might become the righteousness of God. There is an exchange there. We give him our sin. We confess our sins and we confess our belief and trust that Jesus died as a payment for those sins and that he rose again from the dead physically and bodily on the third day. That is the transaction that we give him our sins. He gives us his righteousness. And that is how a person is saved. That is what makes them a Christian. And so a person cannot say that I am a Christian if they do not believe the gospel. Now, they may have been taught it incorrectly, and they may fully believe in that what that person t taught them. But that does not mean that they are saved. 
their, their trust, their faith does not save them. It is what they are placing their faith in, who they are placing their faith in, that saves them. And if they are still putting their trust in their own works for their salvation, even if they believe that they're just contributing a part of it, that is not being saved. If a person was drowning in the ocean, being caught in by a riptide, and the lifeguard came out, and then the person, you know, did their best to get to them, or the lifeguard taught them principles of how they can get safely to shore, and then they managed to do so, that would not be them safe being saved. They were able to save themselves. If the lifeguard comes, throws you on his back, takes you safely to shore, that is being saved. Where a situation where you otherwise would have drowned left to your own devices, which is exactly the state that we are all in. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and the wages of sin is death, eternal death separation from God. But the free gift of God is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Okay, so that is my answer to those two questions. That's why I believe it's essential for a person to believe those two things rightly. Now, the other things you mentioned, those are completely peripheral issues. And while I could t talk to you about why I believe what I believe about what the Bible teaches on those things, we can agree to disagree, and it doesn't have anything to do with the gospel, has nothing to do with our salvation. And so I look forward to the conversation continuing, Keith, and um, I will talk to you later. If you guys have insights or questions on something that I talked about and or did not address, then put those in the questions down in the comments down below. I'll be choosing some for the next week's week, weekly Q&A topic videos. And by the way, if you want to get to the front of the line in terms of those Q&A things, then check out my Patreon page for just $1 a month. You can get to the front of the line, and there's lots of other perks and insights like I've already mentioned. So if subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up on this video if you like the content for the day. Share this video with others who enjoy cults and material related to how to share the gospel with them. And until next time, may God's grace be with you.